arise O compatriot Nigeria's call O be to serve our father's land with love and strength and faith guys let's continue that later okay i think that's the only verse i could remember thank you very much hey guys welcome back to another banging video it's your barrister just call me barrister ag and i'm back again with another so from the title below you know what we're coming to talk about why some nigerian parents will not allow their kids to marry a Ghanaian man or other foreigners even in the same nigeria some tribe will not allow another tribe to marry their kids or their children so i know most of you have proposed some nigerian girls or ladies in ghana and then they've been turning you down i don't know the reason why they've been turning you down so today i just want to be telling you every bit of it why they've been turning you down it has a lot of things inside so a lady will not just turn a guy down because of something else although if she loves you she can tell you that because of another thing maybe where she's coming from a family background that's where most nigeria and ghana would turn ghana down i mean ghana guys down they won't marry you because their parents will not accept them to marry from other tribe or to marry a foreigner so one of the reason why a parent from nigeria will not allow s or a kids to marry someone from ghana or other country is because of one culture and beliefs you know in nigerian culture if you are a female you have to put your two nails down and then kneel down to greet your mother-in-law or your father-in-law which is not done in ghana in ghana you can greet like this but putting the two nails down, I don't see it in their culture. And then if you are a male, you have to lie down in Nigeria to greet your father-in-law and your mother-in-law. But in Ghana, they do shake hands. So how are you going to cope with all this culture? You are going to feel nervous yourself. You feel like they are punishing you. Kneeling down and then greeting your father-in-law, your mother-in-law. It's just like a punishment for some. You know, Nigerian parents are so, so strict to the extent that if you are from other tribe and don't you don't try to emulate what they are doing or you don't try to copy their culture or you don't have any knowledge about their culture they are going to feel offended so they will prefer that their kids marry from their culture i mean their tribe they marry from their tribe you know we have um almost 300 something ethnic groups in nigeria and these people have different different culture even among themselves they don't allow their kids to get married to another tribe not talking of someone from ghana or from other country it's so so difficult for you to get married to their kids and if you think you have a big head you want to get married to their kids then you have to follow all their laid down procedure for you to get married to their kids so if you are ready to do that then you can go for it and secondly language barrier we all know that nigerian they have a lot of language over there a lot of languages over there and then you from ghana you don't speak their language imagine someone coming from a yoruba background who speaks yoruba and you from ghana you speak maybe ewe or you speak fancy how are you going to communicate with your mother-in-law or your father-in-law i could speak english with them imagine they do not understand english as well what are you going to do so that is why they prefer that their kids marry from their hometown i mean from their tribe even within themselves they do not allow their kids to get married a yoba man will sometimes not allow his or a kids to get married to and uh, maybe an hausa man so for instance imagine you are just there and then your mother-in-law is talking about you 
to your husband you may feel nervous because you don't understand what they are saying so you may think they are criticizing you or something so if you don't want to get offended or you don't want to be feeling bad in the house so I think to be on the safer side you know what to do I don't have to tell you and another one is distance you know this Nigerian parent they have love for their children when I talk about love I mean deep 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 love although they may do as if they don't like you but they like their children so so much that they don't like them to distance themselves from their children so imagine someone from Ghana wants to get married to someone in Nigeria and then you as a wife you are a Nigerian so you have to move to Ghana you know your parents they won't know what is going on there imagine you're facing some challenges some trouble or your husband is maltreating you they can't see it I mean I need to sometimes you won't call them so they'll feel worried so they know they can believe those I mean they can trust those that they are of the same tribe so they rather prefer you to marry from your own tribe moreover Nigeria likes to hype marriage so so much so if you are from Ghana I know Ghana the light funeral as compared to that of marriage but Nigerian when it comes to what's called when it comes to marriage I mean you see them tagging everything day sister brother if your parents don't like marriage like those in Nigeria so you can't get married to their kids because you are not the same level and the last one security issue you know when their kids get married to the people from their same tribe they are going to feel secure because they know that this person they are of the same tribe the person know the rules and regulation in their tribe so there's no way he or she is going to hurt their kids and they know that you yourself you are from their tribe you can't hurt their kids because you respect them you know the people you know their culture you know what you can do or you know what you can do something like maybe you and your husband you have an issue or something like that and you're of the same tribe you are going to settle it according to the rules and regulation in your tribe unlike if the person is from maybe Ghana or is from other country imagine their ruling system is different from your ruling system so maybe it might favor the one in Ghana and might not favor you so most parents would be at the safer side because they like their kids so much and they don't want them to suffer so they would prefer that their kids get married to those in the same tribe so I hope I've tackled this issue very well so if you are still battling or you still don't understand why Nigerian parents or why some Nigerian ladies or men do not accept your proposal as a Ghanaian or from other country it's because of this kind of thing or it is because of this issue that's why they will not accept your proposal